so what I thought I would do right now is just give you an overview of our portfolio, our investment process, as well as talk to you about how we are, how we are doing relative to some of our objectives on, our, on how, the purpose of our investment vehicle, and that's to create jobs and attract investment into Canada. So um, as you can see, we invest in sustainable chemistry-based and bio-based technologies. Our investment has a fairly good distribution in terms of the materials that we use to convert, um, well, to, to, map, to increase the value from whether they be uh, forestry base, agricultural base, or waste that we're trying to take and increase value. We have a, a fairly um, a robust process and you know, those of you who are in, um, familiar with the general investment processes, our process uh, is not much different. It, it involves a big section on due diligence, understanding the company, um, making sure the companies can provide a return to our investment fund, because eventually our, one of our goals in the investment fund is to be self-sustainable. And when we're in a position to invest, what we try to do is help that company achieve their goals by connecting them to the right partners, the right uh, markets, and the right people so that they can succeed. When they succeed, we'll be in a position to exit from our, from their investment, from our investment, and then take the proceeds from our investment and reinvest it into the next new, new thing. Uh, so this is a list of our investment criteria. So earlier on, Sandy talked about job creation, and I think the, the companies that we invest in, the 12 companies, have done a, ph a phenomenal job in creating new jobs in Canada. And to date, um, they've created almost 3,000 jobs. I think that's great. And I get, I get a report from each of the companies on a quarterly or six-month basis, and they update some statistics. And one of the statistics they update is job creation. How, much, how many people they're employing today, and what they plan to employ in the next year. Another thing we measure is how well the companies are doing in terms of what we have is, is a commercialization index, it's a proprietary index which we developed, which measures how they are in terms of getting close to that finish line of being a fully commercial company. And as you can see, uh, in our 12 companies that we have, uh, one has fallen under already. Uh, three are doing uh, exceptionally well in terms of reaching that commercialization target. And the bulk majority are still there developing their markets, developing their technology, trying to make, uh, to become a fully commercialized company. To date, we've had uh, three IPOs, um, BioAmber, Ecosynthetics, and Solutions for CO2, who recently changed their name to Blue Ocean Nutra Sciences, another, another mouthful name. Um, and, and right now, another company um, who is in the process of uh, undergoing, uh, well, in the process of you know, becoming another publicly listed company. And I would expect in the next three years, two, I'm expecting two more companies to either go public or be bought out. So one of the other investment, one of the other goals that we have with our, our investment is how much money do they attract in terms of investment dollars into Canada. So we started with five and a half million, and with that five and a half million, the companies we, in our portfolio have attracted an additional 100, 150 million. And to date, they've attracted an additional 293 million of investments into Canada. So at the start of our, our, of our journey, we had a goal, and that goal is to attract $1 billion of investment into Canada. And to date, we're about halfway there. And, and if we maintain the current pace of progress, I expect that and within two, three years, we'll be very close to the one billion dollar mark. Um, as you know, in, in this particular space, it's all about, well, not all about, one of the key things is deal flow. 
how do we keep the investment dollars flowing into Canada? How do we keep, how do we find and attract companies to be successful in their commercialization in sustainable chemistry and bio-based space? Uh, we keep a fairly uh, healthy um, outlook on potential, on potential candidates with a pipeline of just over 50 companies. Um, and we keep in regular contact with them just to see how they're doing and also to see how we can help them reach a point where they can commercialize.